Hello everybody and welcome back to your fourth iSQL PHP login tutorial. Now today we're going to create a new user page which will allow someone who doesn't currently have an account to create one and therefore be able to log in. The actual login system is fully finished and we won't be working any more on that but we will still be using MySQL to connect to the database and add some new data to it. So to start off with we're going to create a new page and we're going to save this and I'm going to save it as new user.php okay now we've created this I'm going to go back to our home page and create a link for it so we're going to use this using the uh, anchor tag so a and we named it new user so new user.php and we'll name the link uh, sign up now or sign up here so now if we open up our web browser and uh, load our page you can see that we've got a link called sign up here and it opens new user .php. so now what we're going to do is start to code new user .php. so start with our PHP tags now instead of writing out uh, loads of code again to connect to our database we've already got it coded here so what we can do is just copy and paste the stuff we need and paste this into here and I'm just going to add MySQL close okay so if we uh, load the new user page we shouldn't get any errors so that means that we're connecting to the database successfully so uh, that's all sorted now all we need to do is add information to the database so we need to have a place for the user to enter information so we're going to use HTML and another form for this so if we create our body tags here and we can have a header and we'll say um, yeah we'll just say sign up so now if we create a form for this and the action is going to be equal to new user.php because we're sending it to itself to use on this page and the method will be post so if we have them enter a username and for this we're going to have an input type of text and we'll name it uh, user and we'll do similar except we'll create it for a password so the type's going to be password and we'll name it pass and we'll change this over here to password and by the way if you want to just copy a line and drop it down like I did that's control D in notepad plus plus that's just a quick tip for you and now we're going to need a uh, button to submit the, the form so input type this time will be submit and we'll set the value equal to sign up so if we load our sign up here page we have this all set up nicely so now uh, oh, apparently we don't have a button because uh, we never closed this tag here and uh, I'll just add a line break in here right so that looks quite nice now so 
what we need to do is code in the information and add it to the database. So we're going to create a couple of variables. So we'll call this one uh, user and this will be equal to dollar underscore post because we posted the variable and the name for that's user and we just need the same again for pass and we'll name it pass over here. Now to insert the information we need to do it using a query so if you remember from over on the login.php page to do that we use the function mysql underscore query now uh, in a query we start off with double quotations and we're going to use the keyword insert and we need to tell it where we're going to insert it so into and if we just quickly whiz back to our PHP my admin we can see that the table is called users we've already said uh, what database we're working with up here <coughs> so now all we have to say is the name of the database so users and then within these parameters we're going to have uh, where which columns we're going to insert them into so we don't want to insert an ID because that's auto incrementing so that will do that automatically and so all we have to do is add to the username and add to the password so if back here we just say username and password Right, so now we've said what columns we're going to insert them into, we need to say what values we're going to put into the columns of the table. So, if we just type uh, values, and we're going to be inserting the user, and the pass for the password. So now if we do this, we should add a new user into the database. So we can um, we can add the new user and just display out a message. So if we uh, echo onto the screen, uh, user created successfully. And um, actually, I'm just going to add. Uh, one more bit of code, just an if statement, and all I'm going to do in this is check that the user has entered some information in all of the fields, because if they press submit and there's no information entered, they'll get an error. So to do this, we use the function is set. So we're checking if is set the posted data of user and is set post. Pass. Okay, so now we've created this. What's going to happen is if, well, first of all, we're going to connect to the database, and once that's happened, the user can enter a username here and a password. And as long as they've entered something, which is checked by this if statement that we just created, if it has been entered, they, uh, yeah, sorry, a query will run. And this query will insert the data that they entered into the table users. And it will enter the um, username and the password into the column username and password. So now if we refresh our page... Okay, sorry about that, it's just a simple fix for that error. What we did was we created the if statement to check if it's set down here when we need to create it above the username and password where we get it from down here. Otherwise we just get an error and if we just do this it cancels that error out and it all works fine. So now we've moved that up here, we can refresh the page and no problems. So just before we run our final program we just need to uh, put these variables in single quotes, which we never did before, which uh, if we don't do it won't work, but uh, as long as we put them in single quotes they will work. So now if we press sign up, 
enter some information, so I'll put the Kaz attack and I'll just use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sign up. And here, user created successfully. We can reopen users. And as you can see, we have uh, our three users with the Kaz attack and password 12345. You might be wondering why it's ID number 6, and uh, I don't know why it does this, but if you create a user, so if it was number 3, and then delete it and then add another, it still counts it as number 4. So um, I'm sure that if you do this correctly it will work, but that's just because I've been playing around with this and just changing bits of code. But uh, I hope this works properly for you, and uh, but anyway, as you can see, it has created the users the Kaz attack with password 12345 and this should allow us to log in. So if we go back to our home page and log in. As you can see it still logs us in successfully. So even though this is just a minor error, everything still works fine so I wouldn't worry about this. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the short series. There will be links to the rest of the tutorials in the description. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment and on the video and like it if you did enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.